Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone had a great morning. Today, we are going to be reading Duck, Duck, Goose. I'm very excited about this selection. Um, it's actually a book that my son got from Chick-fil-A. For this reason, I like Chick-fil-A that much more. Um, but it's a book about friendship. So please um, enjoy this time with me. So our title here is Duck, Duck, Goose. And our illustrators, so the person who drew these lovely pictures was Tad Hills. He, was, he also wrote the book. So I'll begin. Goose stood very still. He did not want to disturb the butterfly on his head. So we have two characters here. Which one do we think is Goose? Ah, uh, if you chose the white bird, then you are correct. And we know that because we just read Goose stood very still. He did not want to disturb the butterfly on his head. <sighs> just wait until Duck gets a good look at this, he thought. Bluebird, have you seen Duck? He asked carefully. He's approaching from the west, said Bluebird, and he's not alone. Not alone, honked Goose. And where's West? That away, Bluebird pointed, and he was gone. Just wait until Goose meets Thistle, Duck thought, as he raced his new friend across the meadow. So a meadow is this area of land here. Along the way, he called out all his and Goose's favorite spots. There's the lily pond and the shady thicket. Up ahead are the puddles by the river. Oh, I love puddles, Thistle yelled and ran ahead. Wow, you sure are one fast duck, Duck called after her. I sure am. I'm probably the fastest duck in the whole wide world, the little duck boasted. What do you think boasted means? He said, I am sure I'm probably the fastest duck in the whole wide world, the little duck boasted. So he was talking about, he was kind of bragging. I'm probably the fastest duck in the whole wide world. We all have something that we feel confident about. So um, sometimes when we kind of talk ourselves up, we call that boasting. Just then Goose heard twigs and snap, excuse me, twigs snap and leaves rustle. He watched his butterfly flutter away out of the bushes came Duck and Thistle. You missed it, Duck, said Goose. A butterfly was sitting on my head. Exciting news, Goose, said Duck. Excuse me, exciting news, Goose, said Duck. Are you sure it wasn't a moth? Thistle asked. Oh, yes, I'm sure, little Duck, Goose said. So, have do you know the difference between a moth and a goose? Or, excuse me, a moth and a butterfly? I'm looking at Goose. Oh, in my opinion, I think butterflies are prettier than moths because they have those beautiful colors. Moths are normally um, like a dark color. I'm not little, Thistle hollered. Goose, meet Thistle. Goose, meet Thistle, Duck said. Nice to meet you, Thistle, Goose honked. How long is she staying? He, How long is she staying? He whispered to Duck. Forever, Duck said happily. She just moved here. You know, Duck, this was said, once three butterflies landed on my head at the same time. She leapt in the air. Three butterflies all at the same time? Isn't this an amazing goose? Duck quacked. Yeah, she's something all right. That's two more butterflies than you had said Duck. I know I can add, mumbled Goose. Hey, I'm really good at math, too, exclaimed Thistle. I'm probably the best. Are you good at math? For example, what's four plus nine, Goose, she asked. 
that she jumped into a puddle. Splash, what is four plus nine? I want you to hold your idea or your thought in your head for a second. 13, she exclaimed before Goose could answer. Do we agree? Math is not my favorite subject either, so it's okay if we miss that one. Nine, this will answer. What about seven plus two? Splash, splash, splash. Nine again. This will clap. I can't do math when I'm being splashed, sputtered Goose. Can we please play something else? I really like his manners. He said, please. I can hold my breath practically forever, boasted this. So there's that word again. We learned the word boasted. So let's think about what that me word means again. So kind of when we're talking ourselves up, he said, I can hold my breath practically forever. He's feeling really good about his abilities. Can you, Goose? Do I have to? Oh, come on. It'll be fine, cracked duck. I'll time you. Fine, said Goose, and he took a big breath. <gasps> so did Thistle. Duck counted one hippopotamus, two hippopotamus, all the way to 11. When Goose collapsed, I win, said Thistle, doing a little spin. You are so good at that. I bet you really could have lasted forever, exclaimed Duck. I'd like to see her try, groaned Goose. <laughs> There's a word actually, groaned. I like to see her try, groans Goose. Goose. So what else do you do around here for fun? Quacked Thistle. Duck looked at Goose. We play, he said. I bet I'll win, quacked Thistle. He's kind of boasting it, isn't he? We run around the meadow or kick our ball, said Goose. There is no winning. Then why bother, said Thistle. Last one to the top of the hill loses. And off she ran. Well, I guess I lose, Goose said. Come on, Goose, Duck yelled. Let's see how fast Thistle can run downhill. Can't we just watch the clouds instead, honked Goose. But Thistle and Duck were too far ahead to hear him. At the bottom of the hill, Goose moaned. Can't we just stand on our heads, Thistle interrupted. Of course. But let's have a who can hop on one foot the longest match. That sounds fun. A walk across a log challenge. Have you ever walked across a log? A balance a stick on your head contest. And a jump over a bush race. Wow. They're doing lots of fun activities. When it was time to stand on their heads, Goose had had enough. I'd rather look for butterflies, he said to himself. On your marks, get set, thistle quacked. Ready, Goose? But Goose was nowhere in sight. Timey, okay, duck, said thistle. Duck sighed. <sighs> sure. One hippopotamus. Did Goose say where he was going? Two hippopotamus. Do you think he'll come back? Three hippopotamus. Should we go look for him? Who squawked Thistle? Goose squawked Duck. That was just his way of answering, so he kind of squawked Goose. Thistle, Thistle wasn't listening. Now let's see if I can beat my personal handstand record. Keep counting. What is your record, Thistle? 3,513. Wow, 3,513. By six hippopotamus, Duck had had enough. I can't believe you're leaving me upside down like this, cried Thistle as Duck headed off into the tall grass. Duck looked for Goose in all of their favorite places, but the lily pond was empty. The shady thicket was dark and quiet, and the riverbank felt lonely. Duck called out to his friend, Goose! But his cry was muffled by the, the whir of the wind and the gurgle of the river. So all of these sounds are making it um, harder for him to be heard. So the wind is blowing, the river is flowing. He's calling out to his friend, 
goose. At last, Duck hung his head and sat down by their favorite bush. So he kind of looks like this. He's just hanging his head. Oh, goose, where are you? He said, wishing that his friend could hear him. From behind the bush. So this duck is in front of, yeah, he's in front of the bush and he's behind the bush. So from behind the bush came a familiar hawk. Goose, Duck called out. Duck, answered Goose. Goose, where have you been? Goose sighed. So remember, sighing is just like, hmm. I don't like to stand on my head. No, said Duck. Actually, I don't either. And when I hold my breath too long, I get dizzy. Has that ever happened to you? Me too, said Duck. And walking across a log scares me. Duck looked at Goose. I thought you did a great job. But this will one every time, Goose said. She's very talented. Duck nodded. I think she's had lots of practice. You know, said Goose, hopping on one foot is fun for a while, but sometimes I like to sit and smell the flowers. Me too. Or listen to the river, Duck added. Or feel a warm breeze, said Goose. Or look for butterflies. Or even kick the ball around the meadow, honked Goose. Hey, good idea, agreed Duck. So Duck likes his ideas. He wants to do the same thing. Suddenly, out of the tall grass, Thistle appeared. Wow, you guys are good hiders, she quacked. Remember, that's the sound that a duck makes. So the duck is talking. So we're saying that she's quacking. You guys are good hiders. And you're a good finder, said Goose. What should we do now? Asked Thistle. I think it's time for a nap, Goose said. Duck pretended to yawn. Oh, I bet I can fall asleep faster than anyone. Not faster than me, Goose said. I'm the fastest faller, a sleeper. Ever, Thistle bragged. There he goes bragging again. The word we we learned a new word today. Another word for bragging would be boasting. Okay, said Goose. Whoever falls asleep first and sleeps the longest is the all time best. Duck quack. Champion napper, Goose honked. In the whole wide world, shouted Thistle. And luckily for Duck and Goose, Thistle was. All right. So just to kind of think about our story. So we learned a new word. That was first things first. Boast is another word for brag, right? So when we feel really good about something we can do. We also learned a little bit about friendship. So remember, Duck and Goose discovered that they were a lot more alike than they thought. And finally, we learned that we can use our words to tell others what our needs or wants are. So there is an activity in the beginning of this book, which is why I like this book too. So remember Duck and Goose liked looking at butterflies Thistle, a little duck, likes running and jumping. So you could think about your favorite outdoor activity and draw it. And you could also talk about what you drew or write some words about what you drew. That way you can get some practice with um, talking about how you feel and um, sharing your interests with others. So... If you have any questions, feel free to email us. Um, again, Chick-fil-A gives out free books. They're awesome. They actually have lots of pages in them as opposed to 
the ones that we typically get at like Wendy's and Happy Meals. So um, anyway, I, I do support Chick-fil-A. So I want to thank everyone for participating today. Remember that um, our events are taking place every weekday during the summer at 1030 a.m. and 1230. When you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you will get notifications. Please visit our Facebook and Twitter. We're linked on the bottom if you would like additional information about this program. Thank you, everyone, for joining. I enjoyed our session as always, and we look forward to reading with you next time. Thank you.